Today I'm going to be sharing with you how you can link up your CoinLedger account to your Binance account so you can get your tax done within minutes. So I'm going to share with you step by step how you can do this. So all you have to do is just follow along and by the end of this video you'll be ready to go and linked up. So the very first step is you need to sign up to CoinLedger and I'm going to share a link in the description below for you to get directly to this website that I'm on right now. So it promises to get your tax done within minutes which is 100% possible. So the first step is you need to actually sign up for an account on CoinLedger. So what you need to do is come over to this area right here where it says sign up if you can see it right here just click on that then once you're on here it'll just ask you for the common information that you mostly would do on any other website so click on this little sign up button at the below so it'll normally ask you for your name your email address but here just go ask us for your email address your password and confirm your password agree to terms of service and then confirm that I'm not a robot. Just follow these steps here, it's really simple. And then you're ready to go. You should have your account set up. You might have an email that you have to confirm as well. So just check your email address as well to confirm your account. And then you should be ready to go and then you can create your account. So once you have confirmed your account in your email address and have signed up, you can come back to the home page on this website right here, CoinLedger. And then all you do now is click on the login button, which should be at the top right. And then once you click on that, it should take you to the login screen like this so you just put in the information that you just registered your account with and then you would click on login so once you're logged into your actual coin ledger account this is something it will be similar to this it will look something similar to this you won't have anything like this added on your page it'll be completely empty but i'm going to share with you what you need to do so now you need to go to the bottom left and click on add account so what we're going to be looking for is finance so what you can do is you can type it in here if you're looking for the pacific exchange and this can work with any exchange i'm just sharing with you how you can do it for Binance. Everything that I'm doing is similar to everything, every other exchange, just to give you a heads up. So once you click on Binance, that's the one you want to click on Binance, unless you're from the US. So if you're from the US, you want to click on the US one which was this one here. But if you're from just anywhere else in the world, I'm pretty sure, 100% sure that you click on Binance because I'm from Australia. So I'm gonna click on just Binance. So I've already added it here, as you can see at the top left. So this is the one that we wanna be on. We don't wanna be on any others. So we have two options here. We can upload a file or we can auto import. So I highly recommend to do the auto import because you won't have any issues or problem because you're doing it directly from Binance. So the next step is you need to go ahead over to Binance now. So just head over to the Binance Exchange the website here. Now now, once you're logged into your account, I am logged into my account. You have to be logged in and have an account. You need to now go to the top right here and you can see this little guy symbol here. You wanna to go to the drop down tab and click on API management. Once you're on the API management page, it should look something similar to this or exactly like this. So now as you can see, once I have confirmed my security information, it's now gave me the API key and the secret key. These are the things that you need to now to continue. So now what you need to do is copy and pa copy this API key right here. You just can click on copy right here, see it right here. And then you go back to Coin Ledger and this little tab right here, as you can see right here, little import tab, you just click on that. It will now bring up this right here. So as you can see the API key, so all you have to do is click on that and copy and paste. So paste it into there. All I did was right click and click paste. Now you need to go back and get the secret key which is just right below it. I have to actually copy and paste this manually, I think. So I just have to hover over it, that, copy it, go back to the coin ledger again and paste it into here. So all I did was copy and paste both of these. So the first one was the API key and then the next one was the secret key. Then I went back to here and now what you need to do now is click on sync transactions. So once you're syncing the transactions, all it's doing now is processing everything and looking at all the transactions on your account. It's only reading them directly and it might take like five, 10 15 minutes as you can see it's letting you know that it might take up to 15 minutes plus so i will come back once the importing has been completed so once it has completed importing it might take up to 20 minutes it could take longer depending on how many transactions you have but um once it is completed it'll just say your amount of transactions has been completed ported whatever and then you just say yep click looks good now you can look at this page right here and you can see some information that you can add here if you want to add another transaction you can on the right side here if you want to look at the import history on the top right you can do that as well so just go on import history it tells you how many trades how many deposits how many withdrawals and then it goes into all the information you can look at all the trades if you wish individually it's totally up to you but once you're done with that you can go straight to the review tab so the top left should say review click on the review tab now there might be some errors that you will have but this is based 
based off the fact that I use multiple exchanges and another wallet and I have wallets as well. If I was to add all the exchanges and my wallet, it will then won't have any errors. But because of this video, I'm only showing you Binance, but you can add all your exchanges onto your account and you can add your wallet as well. So if you use MetaMask or if you use Trust Wallet or whatever wallet you use, you can add them all under here and you can also add any exchange, like all the big exchanges you can add just doing the same process that I just shared with you. It's pretty much same every single one. Pretty much need to get the API key or upload a file. And most of the time, these big exchanges will have the API key. So once you've completed that, once you're happy with the re review, you can go straight to the tax reports, which is step three. So click on tax reports at the top left. And now it even shows your capital gains as well before you even pay. So that's something that's rare for to see on most softwares that do your taxes in your cryptocurrency space. But yeah, as you can see, it shows you your capital gains, but it doesn't show you a total income. So before you can unlock anything and get the actual file to, to submit your tax, you will have to pay before you do this. So what you need to do is click on upgrade to unlock. Once you go on upgrade to unlock, it'll tell you how much you have to pay. So because my transactions was over a thousand, well, it was exactly a thousand, I will have to pay a hundred dollars you went. But if it was under a thousand, it would only be $50. That's just a heads up to you. So once you have purchased, you got your tax report and then you can submit your tax. So once you're done, you just click on purchase and you will get your tax report. I hope this video helped you out. If you do have any questions, feel free to let me know in the description below. And if you're looking to sign up to CoinLedger, I will leave a link in the description as well. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.